Hey guys, Chris here once again, Games on Smash Tech. I'm going to be unboxing the GeForce GTX 260 Superclocked Core 216. Now, uh, later on in this video I'm going to be explaining to you what's the difference between Core 216 and the regular 260. Also, I'm going to show you guys an interesting fact between the 260 and the 280. Um, so let's get into the unboxing. Here you guys says GeForce GTX 260 Core 216 plugs into your PCI Express 2.0 slot and this is the super clocked version so that means it's overclocked stock um, it also comes with a free physics um, tool to overclock by NVIDIA bring it around to the back um, gives you some facts you can find that on the NVIDIA website shows you a picture of it here's our free overclocking utility uh, it's the precision overclocking utility by NVIDIA uh, comes with that so why you guys want to see the box? Let's see what's inside. Alright. So here you have it. First thing you see here, installation guide. Installation guide inside you got uh, the installation CD. Me personally, I would never use the installation CD. Other people, you know, do what they like, but I personally like going to the NVIDIA website to uh, to get its latest drivers. So you got the CD. Um, here's a case badge, an EVGA case badge. Uh, it's kind of rounded, so it's I don't know, it's beveled or feels good. It's bubbly. So the case flag. Here, look at this quick start guide for the GTX 280 and 260. That's funny. Let me explain to you later on uh, the difference between the GTX 260 and 280. Uh, there's actually almost no difference. So the install guide. That's cool. It comes with uh, some 3D glasses. I'm sure you could buy. Um, through NVIDIA or through whoever makes this uh, better quality glasses but uh, 3D gaming I mean we're at the verge of 3D gaming and uh, I guess they want to show you uh, how it works so they come with 3D glasses and a website uh, I believe to download maybe drivers or software or something like that 3D glasses you got your audio cable uh, for your graphics card you got your VGA to DVI or DVI to VGA. If you have an older monitor, plug in your VGA right there. Um, I would recommend to move away from VGA. If you're buying a new monitor, try and get something that has DVI. DVI is digital, VGA is analog. Uh, you get a better, crisper resolution with uh, DVI. Got some advertisement some six pin to Molex if you have an older power supply you plug in uh, you connect those to your Molex on your power supply and this plugs into your um, graphics card funny enough it comes with two of them uh, because you need two six pin connections so if you have an older power supply that could uh, that could run 32 amps in a 12 volt rail and it has four free Molex uh, four free Molex pins go like that but if you don't have an older power supply and you already have six pins and you're able to run 32, uh, 32 amps on a 12 volt rail, you don't need these. Also it comes with a DVI to HDMI, which is probably what I'm going to be using. Um, DVI to HDMI, pretty straightforward. Let's go on to the card. Here we have it. Um, let's take off this plastic wrap. There you have it. EVGA GeForce GTX 260. Uh, Core 216 Superclocked. 
it's it's pretty nice. I mean, you guys already know what it already looks like. Here you got your two six pins. Uh, this is where your power connectors hook up to, and also right next to it, you've got the audio cable, the audio connection. You've got the fan, which sucks in air from here and blows it out the end. So it's inside your case like this. Let's say it's your case wall. It'll suck in warm air from here and blow it out the back, which is a pro. Um, the only thing I kind of don't. Oh yeah. Also, you got uh, your SLI spots here. So it's a pretty big card. The only thing I didn't like, or the only thing I don't get about video cards, is that when you hook it up into your system, let's say this is your motherboard, you put it in like that. Why is the nice looking side on the bottom? You ever you ever wonder? Because you know you got your you look at you're looking at your case from you know top down or however you're looking at it, and you just see this this top board. You see the the board side. You know you see the chips. You don't see the nice looking, you know, GTX 260. You don't you don't get the finished side. Hey, that's a leave your comments. What do you think about that? Do you know why they've done that? Do you know is there a reason like performance wise or maybe it's because of the heat or you know what do you think? Me, I don't know. I've always wondered. But anyway, it takes up two slots, uh, so make sure you have enough room. And that's it. All right, now, that was the unboxing. You got all the components there. Let me explain to you, or try to explain to you, if I can remember, uh, the difference between the GTX 260 and the GTX 280.